Uganda has two rain seasons. It has sunshine all year round, and it has fertile soils. These are ideal conditions for seed and crop production. In fact, so good that Uganda is ranked among the top three countries in Africa with the best conditions for seed and crop production, yet its production levels are disappointingly low. When the soils are rich, when the rains are sufficient, when the farmers apply the right farming practices, and yet the harvests are poor, something is wrong, so wrong. In recent years, the seed industry in Uganda was privatized. We have a large number of seed companies, and the level of regulation has been uh, fairly limited. So the big problem now is that Uganda has a reputation for fake and bad quality seed. Many agro dealers are much interested in the use or in, 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 achieve, in, in making much profits than running a business. Someone goes in for fake, pro, fake products, adds them exactly with their genuine products so that at least you can accumulate more profits. 50% is a big number. And yet, agro dealers and district production officers interviewed for this documentary say the volumes of fake and bad quality seed on the local market is nearly half the supply. What we realize that he, when these agro dealers go into the container village, they get some other routes. I could them get, I could call them black markets, where they get seed at cheaper prices, other than seed from those companies. They they rebrand them the name of those companies, yet it is not actually seed from those companies. The cost of bad seed is unfortunately borne by the farmers. The farmer is not getting what they think they're paying for. They're not getting the kind of germination that they're expecting. They're not getting the uniform quality. They're not expect getting the high productivity that they're expecting when they purchase improved variety seed. So if a, the farmer goes through all the effort to dig their fields, to clear the land, to plant, and the seed doesn't germinate properly, then there's a double loss. They've missed the, the prime time in the planting season, they've wasted a lot of time and effort, and they've wasted the money on the seed. Such losses are tough for farmers to bear after taking the trouble to purchase what they believe is the best seed on the market. In fact, in Kiraga, company Uganda. The farmers should be protected through the government certification. A certificate of proof that seeds in a package have undergone inspection and that the quality claims on the package are true. The Ministry of Agriculture, Animal Industry and Fisheries, in fact, issues these certificates. The whole process of seed multiplication it has to be inspected by inspectors from the National Seed Certification Services. From planting up to processing, through processing up to packaging of the seed. Um, inspectors from the Ministry of Agriculture have to foresee the whole process. There is a problem though. The process is not foolproof and the integrity of the certificates is compromised. We have a limited number of inspectors and these few inspectors have to conduct seed inspection countrywide. This is one of the challenges.
cost of bad seed is felt at the household level. David Katete Isavirie is a farmer in Iganga and the poor harvest is taking its toll on his family. We are going to have a, a one challenge is to take the children back at the school. Small businesses in the seed industry are hard hit by the bad seed as well. It spoils the reputation of the business because as a, a, uh, an agro-input dealer, you're the last person that interacts with the farmers. So with the farmer, they'll think it's your fault. But to those that don't understand, even when you try to explain, they may think you did it intentionally. Quality seed for any farmer is the foundation of Uganda's food security and basic nutrition needs. However, it is something that in many places is unfortunately taken for granted. Sadly, Uganda's food security, its entire agricultural economy and health are often undermined by the prevalence of counterfeit and low quality seed. Improving the seed quality requires close collaboration between the seed companies and the regulator. However, many seed companies are doing just fine and making money despite also trading in seeds that are of inferior quality. So one may ask, what incentive do the seed companies have in producing higher quality seed that gets to the farmer at a higher cost? They need to increase their quality in order to build their reputation because under the recent Comesa seed harmonization guidelines, seed companies from the rest of the region can start selling seed in Uganda in competition with the Ugandan companies. If the Ugandan companies don't get their act together, they're going to be pushed out of business by seed coming in from, from uh, Kenya, Tanzania, and as far south as South Africa and Zambia. The story of Zambia is worth sharing. Ten years ago, Zambia was a net importer of seed. It did not produce enough seed to serve the needs of its local farmers. Today, Zambia is among the biggest exporters of seed on the entire continent. It has more than enough seed to meet its local demand and is doing big business exporting seed. Zambia is a semi-arid country. It has one rain season. It does not have the soil quality and weather that Uganda has. Can Uganda pick lessons from the Zambian experience? Uganda could be the major seed producing country for the whole continent if they get their quality in order. And in Zambia, the way they did that was by harnessing the power of the private sector and really getting the private sector directly involved in policing themselves under the supervision of the Zambian government. And that's the kind of model that we're trying to introduce here in Uganda. Agriculture can be a powerful growth engine in Uganda, and it has the potential to lift millions of Ugandans out of poverty. The U.S. government is committed to supporting Uganda's farmers and its agricultural sector, and we look forward to seeing the benefits of this Ag Verify initiative. Our goal is to work with the seed sector, uh, with the government, and actually, uh, one, raise the quality with them with us. Uh, but then we're hoping, you know, Ag Verify, we want to start certify. we want to be authorized to certify on their behalf. That's our goal. If it happens, it doesn't happen, it, I mean, we'll still be doing what we're doing, but that would be our goal is to show that, you know, we have the inspectors, we can do this for you, we can do, uh, you know, do out and do the inspections, and, and then hopefully, you know, the companies do 100%, and then we audit, and we inspect, and then, of course, the government, MIAF, would audit us. Whereas the law mandates national seed certification services in the Ministry of Agriculture, Animal Industries, and Fisheries to regulate the quality of seed, uh, government is committed to working with the private sector under the private-public partnerships to ensure strength strengthening of the seed sector and streamlining the seed quality assurance system. This is where Ag Verify can come in um, to help seed companies build capacity for internal quality control.
AgVerify is a voluntary system for ensuring quality of seed produced and sold by private sector seed companies in Uganda. The way the system works is the seed companies each have to have their own internal inspector that has to uh, document the regular seed inspections to meet COMESA guidelines. That means every maize field has to be inspected five times in the season and pass certain requirements at each inspection. Every bean field has to be inspected three times. We're really um, training them on many different aspects of the whole seed production process. Mm -hmm. From the time that a seed producer uh, is planning to plant the basic or foundation seed on his farm all the way through until that seed has been finally conditioned, treated, packaged, and being sent to the marketplace. And so these students, with that basic knowledge then, are going to be able to check on each of the individual processes along that whole path of seed production and be able to make sure that the seed producers are doing the right steps in order to produce high quality seed. Besides building local capacity of seed inspection, AgVerify is also working with an internationally accredited laboratory, Chemifa, for seed testing. I'm going to talk about the samples that we just received from a customer. Um, it's brought a seed sample and we are going to analyze this in Chemifa. Uh, we receive it only with numbers, identification number. Uh, why no names? Um, it's because we don't want any bias. Analysts have to uh, just see this number, they don't know from where the sample is coming. If it's from whatever company, seed company, if it's from uh, another country even, because we receive samples from all over Africa, mm. so analysts are not aware of uh, the sample they receive. Such measures are important to ensure that analysis is objective and there is no bias for a customer or against a customer. After a series of scientific tests over a minimum of nine days, a certificate is issued on the quality of the seed. You see uh, the percentage of pure seeds or inert matter mm. of or other seeds. Then you will see the number of days mm. that it took for doing the germination test. Okay. Yeah? Mm. And then here you have the whole germination part with the normal seedling. This is your uh, real germination percentage, that's where you should get a good uh, figure showing that your, your seed will be germinating well. AgVerify has started with the rollout of three seeds, maize, beans and soya beans. For all seed companies under AgVerify, the packages bearing these seeds will go out with a quality mark that the farmers look out for. AgVerify! AgVerify! Right about now you have had the A mass awareness promotion to educate farmers on AgVerify under Kakasa Plus is already underway. What is the AgVerify process? The AgVerify quality mark and Kakasa Plus scratch mark are designed to restore a customer's confidence in seed quality. It means that the farmer knows that the seed is going to be uniform. It's actually going to have the qualities that are advertised on the bag. It's going to mature in the time frame that is recommended, that it's going to have the same uniform height. It's going to, if it's supposed to have two cobs on the maize, it will have two cobs. Imagine a simple solution for farmers. So easy that all a farmer needs to do to check that she is buying good seed at a shop is to scratch a quality mark, upload the number code like she uploads telephone airtime, and wait for confirmation on the seed quality. That is what AgVerify Quality Mark provides, an easy solution with the assurance that the seed in a package complies with the inspection and testing requirements of Uganda and the Comesa region. To some of you who have been giving our farmers counterfeit and, and fake seeds, your days are now numbered. <laughs>